Hello, welcome. Uh, this video is going to be uh, a continuation of our week two videos for AutoCAD, and this one's going to be on the creation of a simple sawhorse. We're going to have a front view and a left side view of that sawhorse. And the first thing we're going to draw is that left side view. And remember, as I mentioned before, when we draw something like this, we want to make sure we draw the simplest geometry first, and then do the more complicated stuff for, uh, later, because I think everything will fall into place a little bit better that way. So the first thing we want to do is uh, put in a rectangle. We want to draw a rectangle. It's going to be 4 inches by 8 inches if you look in the website and get the dimensions there. So when you draw your rectangle, make sure you draw it out so you don't have that polar tracking line. So you can actually enter the dim uh, dimensions. So we're going to type in 4 and then tab 8. Enter. So there is that. Next thing we're going to draw is we're going to draw the inside line that represents uh, the leg or the line that represents the inside of the portion of that leg as it goes down. So we have a dimension on the bottom of 1 foot 8 inches, about 2 uh, 20 inch uh, dimension. That is a known that's going to be square right in the bottom of that rectangle. And it's going to be 36 inches down and uh, when we draw that line we're going to draw it up to the very corner of our rectangle up here and that should work out pretty well. So let's go ahead and draw some reference geometry. We're going to go from the midpoint of that line down 36 inches. Then we're going to draw another line 20 inches wide. Take the midpoint of that line by using that grip, drag that over here to the endpoint of this line, and erase our first reference geometry. Now we have the ability to draw that uh, inside that line that represents the inside of that leg. So we're going to draw from the very bottom left of that reference geometry line up to the bottom of the rectangle. We're going to draw one side, one leg on one side, and then we're going to mirror to the other side. So that's all we're going to do is we're going to concentrate all our energy in, on the one side. So if you look at it, uh, if um, look in the website, there is a, a, a line that comes down, a reference line that comes down. It's one inch down from the top. So let's go ahead and draw that. We're going to make that one inch. Enter. Now we're going to make it go off to the side. What that does is it represents where that next line is going to go. It's going to represent the outside of the leg. So that there comes down like one inch from the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this leg, copy it. When we copy it, it's going to maintain the angular orientation it's at right now. And we're just going to drag it up to the intersection of that one inch line that we just drew out and that block we drew out initially. Erase that reference geometry, but we're going to keep that other line because we're going to use that later. Take this line, we can take this grip, stretch it out over here, take this line, and extend this down. And remember our trim command that we played with yesterday? Let's go ahead and go back to that. And uh, it's this button up here. It's called trim. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of this spacebar and trim out what we don't need. So we highlighted everything as a trim reference and then we eliminated everything we didn't need. And drag that out. You take these three elements and we're going to mirror that off to the other side and that left view of our sawhorse should be done. And we don't erase uh, the, you know, the base elements there, the, the original elements in regard to that uh, mirroring function. Let's go ahead and dimension this. And just like we've done before, we're going to go to our A-size layout and uh, see if we can find that. We're going to take this uh, viewport window. We're going to unlock that. I think it was unlocked. Standard scale. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit, maybe half an inch is equal to a foot. That's probably a little bit small. Let's uh, go to one inch is equal to one foot. That looks like it's going to be better. Here's a new command. It's called the pan command. Type in P and then enter. It gives you the ability to move what's in that viewport or anything else you might have. In a way, it's like moving it. What it's doing really is it's taking the items within the viewport and kind of moving the viewport around to where the items are. It's not really moving the items. But it's called the pan command. And its keyboard shortcut for that is P. So let's click back in that viewport. Let's maintain that viewport orientation. Lock our viewport. Go back into model space. Just like we did before, dimension style modify. Our uh, scale was 1 inch is equal to 1 foot, which is a 12 scale factor. So we're going to change that to 12. And then go to OK. Go to close. And uh, let's go ahead and dimension this. It's always a good idea to dimension this stuff as you go. So go to the dimension layer. And these are all, for the most part, uh, linear dimensions. This one should be 1 foot 8 inches, which it is, spacebar. It should default to 2 feet. 
that's really close is 1 foot uh, 11 and 15 sixteenths of an inch and that's okay if you got that dimension too because that's a derived dimension from the other one and this should be 3 foot tall Ooh, it isn't so what do we do we didn't click on the right thing down here so let's go ahead and uh, click on that dimension and correct that bring that right back where it should be and that should read 3 feet then we're going to dimension these two other items it should be 8 inches, spacebar. That should be 4 inches. And again, we didn't get that in the right spot. Let's get that in the right spot so that should read correctly. So that should match fairly closely what's on the website. Okay, we're going to finish this in the next video.